OK. Um, yeah, so we're running in D3 D12 mode. I'll actually pull it back and show you D3 11 just for a comparison. So here we are running in Direct3D 11 mode. Um, we're getting, yeah, 28 FPS or so. And then you can see the CPU on the right. Um, we're tracking, uh, looks like about 20% CPU. So this is not in frame rate locked mode, so I'm going to let it free run. It'll run as fast as it can. This is fully utilizing the GPU and CPU as much as 11 can on, on this Intel Bricks Pro. Switching to D3 12, we get about three times the frame rate, but we've only doubled the CPU usage. Uh, furthermore, instead of being serialized on the driver thread, you can see we're breaking the rendering workload across multiple processors at this point. Now, let's make that bindless assumption I mentioned earlier. Sorry, one second, I have to switch back to the app. So if we make the assumption that we can pre-bake all the textures used by the asteroids, um, we get about 80 FPS. So we've just got about a 10% improvement in GPU performance. Uh, and if you look, we actually got a few percent decrease in the CPU usage to get that point. Last, let's change all this so it's the exact same rendering, but we're using execute and direct. We just got another 10% GPU performance. And our CPU utilization dropped down from about 25% to 9%. So this is the exact same demo with the one assumption you can do bindless. We just got you 20% CPU, 20% GPU, and a huge reduction in CPU overhead on top of that. What that looks like here, just in terms of numbers, um, so one thing to understand, these CPU times are total times across all cores summed together. So you see, we have a steady improvement in CPU time. Uh, and if you're wondering why the 12 and 11 are so close, that 11 times 39 milliseconds, that's serial. That's just taking 39 milliseconds and limiting your frame rate. 12, that 33 milliseconds is spread across eight cores. Uh, so your actual serial time is four milliseconds. The CPU goes to sleep and you get all the power moved over to the GPU. So 12 is a huge advantage, actually, over 11. Next, 12 bindless. We already have great performance on 12 at that point, but 12 bindless gets us significantly reduced CPU overhead in some total, and we get even, you know, we get that 10% GPU performance improvement I talked about. Last, execute and direct, huge, huge, huge decrease in CPU overhead if you can represent your rendering that way. And again, we get another more than 10% reduction in GPU time to render the exact same frames.